Hello guys. I have reached the amazing landmark milestone achievement of a thousand subscribers. I should do like the thumbnail like that. <laughs> Something like that. That would work, right? So for this video, I want to do a little uh, retrospective. Look back at all of the bits of content that I put together over the past eight months of running my Instagram and running this YouTube channel. Yeah, just kind of bask in the glory of all of the stuff I've done so far. Because so much of making content is about making the next video, and then the next video, and then the next video. I haven't had the chance to just stand back and be proud of all of the stuff I've put together over the past eight months. And to be honest, I am really proud of myself. I'm really happy that I started doing this project and trying to be creative and and just so blown away by the fact that that actually worked. <laughs> like I could just make the videos I wanted to make and the songs I wanted to make and people resonated with that, which is, you know, pretty cool. Let's go. Two minutes. Two minutes was the real starting point for me of making videos online. Two minutes left. All of this stress. What can I do? Just say what I feel. It's the start of 2019, and I gave myself a New Year's resolution to create more music. And the way I was going to achieve that is by making one one minute song every week. The first time I sat down and attempted this, two minutes came out. So, two minutes, say what I feel. Let's see what other people say and whether they're saying what they feel. I'm so cringe, dude. Mix is horrible. Is it? Like, come on. There's something fun in this mix, actually, which has to do with ambience and with reverbs. What I did is cut reverbs at specific times to emphasize stuff. Okay, those are all the verbs. Ambience is, is very often in the background of the song. And you do that to fill up space, otherwise the instruments don't gel together so well, and reverb is just a very nice and warm thing to do. However, it gets really interesting when you play with the, the fact that this is a digital effect. You can remove the reverb instantly, if you want, and put it back, and have these little moments of actual silence in the song, devoid of ambience, and that's what I've been playing with on this mix. <laughs> There's actually, <laughs> there's, there's real silence after that rim, after that clap, because I cut out all reverbs. Say what I feel. Cut. And then you only hear the kick drum and all other sounds are gone. And that's really fun to play around with. Like how can you make sure that you only hear exactly the few things you want to hear, which turns it into a detailed mix, but you don't notice it so much. It's, it's a detail. So I love that. I love that. It is March of 2020, and France, like many other countries, went into lockdown. During that lockdown, I spent the first two weeks alone in my apartment in Paris. That was a strange time for me, as I imagine it was for many people. The fact that there was this kind of mass self-imposed loneliness going around was very interesting to me, and that's what I wanted to write about. 
and weather the storm for my living room. This is definitely one of my favorite songs that I've written. At least a favorite short song that I've written. This is something that I try and aspire to in, in more of the songs that I do, to not make a song that's a loop, to not build stuff around repeated sections, but instead to really focus on where does the harmony want to go and how can you really go somewhere, resolve it in a nice way and feel like you've had some kind of journey. I have to try and do more of this because that stuff is powerful. It really works. This is weirdly amazing. Holy crap. Why is it weirdly amazing? Why can't it just be amazing? Why are always people telling me I'm weird? I'm not weird. I'm not weird. <laughs> I'm not weird. You can love it, you can leave it. They say nothing to me, darling. Don't let them get you down. Oh. Love that song. What I'm realizing going back through these videos is that this whole musical project seems to be a product of suffering during lockdown. I was trying so many different things outside of my building. It's gone now, but during lockdown, there was scaffolding abandoned and the climber in me was like, I can climb that. I should try and climb that. <laughs> and so eventually I went out and got on there. I was like, I should make a video playing bass on the scaffolding. This is the fourth floor, so that's actually quite a big drop. Oh my god. It was pretty scary. It was hard to play the bass because I was just... <sighs> the way I was sitting here was kind of scarier to what I was doing afterwards because both of my legs are just on the front. I moved over to one leg on the inside, I think, yeah. This was better because actually, my foot is just on that metal bit that sticks out. So I could kind of balance a bit better. You mad man, that's not dangerous. <laughs> this is giving me height anxiety. It isn't even plugged in. You can literally see the cord going in through the window. Yes, thank you for coming to my defense here. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Love. Now that is how you resolve an argument in the comment section. Beautiful, beautiful example here. This world is going crazy. Continuing along the theme of quarantine anxiety, in April, I created the song, song.py. It features this special lyric video where the lyrics appear in a sea of base 64 encoded text. This ended up being my most popular video on Instagram, which really surprised me because I didn't expect a video with nothing but code to capture so many people's attention. Oh man, I absolutely love this song. And yes, I will work on this and release it at some point. For me, I like to take a long time to really think like, this one minute demo worked in a certain way. A full version of that song has to serve a different purpose because otherwise it, you should just give the one minute demo. And I'm trying to figure out what, what would be a way to make that a full song and a, and, a, and a song I can really release. And that takes time. So you gotta be patient with me, but obviously I love this song. You have the pad, the pad, dude, the pad. got that real anxious, nervous feeling in it. Well now you can't be sure, no, no, no. Everything flipped upside down. Postponed or left behind. Oh, 
Dude! There's something really powerful in that. I really love the imperfection in that vocal performance. It's like, God damn! <laughs> and, the, and obviously the synth. The amount of people that have asked for the script, I think I've given out the code for the visuals to like 50 people. And no one has sent me back their lyric video. Like if you're gonna get the code to be able to make these things, at least have the decency to send back something. What I'm very pleased about is that I haven't limited this project to any one type of song. I've put out meme dumb songs, I've put out instrumentals, solo piano, indie pop. I've made it clear that I'm not putting stylistic boundaries around this project. As a result of this, one week I can put out a fanboy SpaceX song, and the next I can put out Weight of the World. Carry your dreams and make her strong. Give her space, a big bedroom A child so beautiful, a child lovely As you plead, as you plead, why can't she just be happy? Yeah, I really love that. There's something very genuine in that song. What I realize when I think about creativity and about creating music and what role I egoistically play in it it's quite a small role, like I don't have that much influence. All I can do is decide to sit down and work and decide to just try something out and maybe something will come from that, maybe something won't. I was lucky that this came out. And the only way that more of these things can come out is if I just sit down more times and attempt more things. And that's really exciting. Once you realize that creativity is something that's kind of out of your control, you don't know what you're gonna end up with. And so it can be very fun to think like, oh, what if I sit down today and make a song? What will, what will come out? So welcome to music where we can take a break. There need not be a message behind everything we say. Continuing on the topic of not limiting myself, in July I just said, fuck it, I'm just gonna be a YouTuber now. So I acquired this 4-track cassette tape recorder that allows you to record whatever you want in a completely analog format. In the video I show how the machine works and record my very own song, Far Away. Let's listen to that. I really enjoyed that video, making that video. It took ages, it took like two weeks to, to edit and put that together. But that is something I definitely want to do more of. And the comments I got, talking about tape and, and talking about recording techniques and how digital has influenced the 
the format of music, to see that kind of discussion and happening in the comments was, I don't know, it just brings me, brings a smile, smile to my face. I kind of succeeded in showing my experience of tape, which led to people reflecting on their experience of recording or tape or all sorts of other stuff. And I could not be happier. Hey, love, time to get up. I think you've been sleeping too long. My day started when you were still your thing. Oh, love is always better when we take time to get back to who we are. When we were apart, distance breaks. Hello, Mr. Kofi. The video where you are drawing and I am annoying has garnered so many views and love. It is crazy. I should tell you that I am now I've I've reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I'm going through all of my videos and reading comments and discussing it. Thanks, man. And Honestly, the video that we made together was, has, has, is, is one of the ones that like everyone's seen. You've been ge getting way more love than I have on this video. Like here, listen to this by Daft Special. Not good music, but good drawing. Three likes. I can watch him draw all day. Four likes by Amial Tan. Maybe music isn't the career you should do. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> you can you can do a channel takeover if you want if you promise to give yeah. it back afterwards I mean, I can't guarantee it, but we'll see how it goes <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, and we, we'll have to make some more stupid comedy videos like that uh, again Yeah, let's tr try and make this year less bad and uh, That's that's the aim less bad more good um, <laughs> Man bro, 2020, 2024. I want to be less bad, more good. America. It's kind of funny because I'm wearing a suit right now for the video, so it's fitting that I'm trying to become president. It's it is fitting, yes. I completely missed that pun during the video, which is a shame, because that is exactly my type of humor. Well done, Kofi. Take care. See ya. Bye. Ah, oh, love Kofi. Love Kofi. Okay, so there you have it. Eight months of content creation, 71 posts in total. There's a lot more stuff that I could cover but won't do here. But I think at least it's nice to have provided some more context for just seven of those posts. I haven't talked at all about my official releases like Loser and Scrambling Days and How to Get Over Me and Leave Me on Red, but I think I will leave that for a future video. Hopefully, very soon, I can put the suit back on for the 10,000 sub special, but uh, I wonder how long that will take. That might take a little longer, but maybe it will take just another eight months. Who knows? I don't know how long this will take. I think I'm gonna be here for a while cool thank you for the subs make sure to go to the instagram for lots of small videos and little things that i do follow me there subscribe here hit the bell to always be notified when i make the next thing it's been an absolute pleasure and honor to be making stuff on the internet so i will see you in the next video bye I've been trying to